Hi, welcome to EG Media channel. Myself, Ravi Kumar. Please subscribe our channel and share to your friends. In this video, I am discussing about the how to find out the function for complex Fourier series or exponential Fourier series. That is how to derive the function or the formula to find out the complex Fourier series or exponential Fourier series. Before developing the equation, already we know the trigonometric Fourier series. We know the formula or the mean equation of Fourier series. In the form of trigonometric, that is f of t equal to a naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t. So this is the function of Fourier series in trigonometric form. You have to consider this equation 1. From the basics of exponential terms, that is we know what is the equation of e power jx or e power j theta that is cos x plus j sin x. Similarly, we know the formula of e power minus j x that is cos x minus j sin x. You must remember the formulas of e power j x as well as e power minus j x these are the basic equation which are helpful to find out the complex Fourier series. From the above two exponential terms, first of all, you have to add in both terms, that is e power jx plus e power minus jx. Then the imaginary term plus jx and minus jx will be cancelled. From that, we have to obtain two cos x. From the, the formula of cos x is nothing but e power jx plus e power minus jx by 2. This is the formula for cos x in terms of exponential term. In the similar manner, you have to take difference from the two equations, then we have to obtain the formula for sin x that is e power jx minus e power minus jx by 2j. This is the formula for sin x. But we know the complex term, the trigonometric Fourier series are the cos terms and the sin terms in terms of cos n omega naught t and sin n omega naught t. That is, we have to replace the cos terms in terms of n omega naught t in place of x that is by comparing about two equations then the formula for cos n omega naught t what happened in place of x e power j n omega naught t plus e power minus j n omega naught t by 2. This is the equation for cos n omega naught t. In the similar manner, we have to find out sin n omega naught t. In the sin x term, we have to replace the value of x with n omega naught t. That is e power j n omega naught t minus e power minus j 
n into omega naught into t by 2 j. This is the formula for sin n omega naught t. Then you have to replace cos term and sin term in equation 1. That is, you have to substitute the values of cos and sin in equation 1. That is, what is the our intention here to replace the trigonometry term? That is, you have to eliminate cos term and sine term, then you have to replace with the exponential term. Why? Because here we are finding the equation of the exponential Fourier series. That's why all the terms you have to find out in the form of exponential. That's why from equation 1, then f of t equal to a naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n what is cos n x cos term e power j n omega naught t plus e power minus j n omega naught t by 2. Similarly, plus Bn, what is the sine term e power j omega naught t minus e power minus j n into omega naught t by 2j. So, sigma is common for both terms. Then, you have to compare this equation Thus, in A n term and B n term, we have the same exponential terms. That is, e power j n omega naught t and B terms also e power j n omega naught t. That is, you have to common e power j n omega naught t as well as e power minus j term. Then, you have to find out in terms of A n and B n. That is A naught plus sigma n one equal to infinity. Then you have to common e power positive term. That is A n plus B n by 2. No, e power uh, a n minus j b n by 2. Okay. In this term here, that is here we have 1 by 2 j. That is the complex term you have to eliminate. The multiply with the numerator and denominator with j. Then what happened? minus j will be obtained okay, in the numerator. That's why you have to obtain minus j bn. Then what is common here? That is into e power j n into omega naught t. Okay, this is the first term. Then similarly, plus again common second term that is a n plus j b n by 2 already there is minus is there that's why minus minus become plus then the common term is e power minus j n into omega naught t which is the second term then the sigma term is common for both functions. Okay. From this equation, that is a naught a n minus j b n by 2, which is common for e power j n term. Similarly, common the e power minus j n term, then we have to obtain a n plus j b n by 2. Then you have to consider the values here. That is, let 
f not equal to a not similarly f n equal to a n minus j v n by 2 then similarly f minus n equal to a n plus j b n by 2. Then we have to replace f value in the above equation. Hence the equation should be changes to in terms of f that is f naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity f n e power j n omega naught t plus f minus n e power minus j n omega naught into t. Then okay. total equation is changes to in terms of f term. Then you have to changes the sigma term. You have to change as first term and second term. Second term is the n equal to 1 to infinity. But first term is f naught, that is f0. That's why you have to consider sigma n equal to 0 to infinity. Then f naught also will be added into the fn term. That's why fn into e power j n omega naught t. Then what is second term here? n equal to 1 to infinity f minus n e power j n omega naught into t. So that is in the both first term and second term will be combined together. So suppose you have to replace n equal to 0, then what happened? e power 0 is 1, then in place of n, 0, that is that term becomes f naught. That is there is no change in the first term. Then again, combine the both term here. The second term we have the new two terms. Then clearly understand here how to change the sigma terms here. That is n equal to 0 to infinity fn e power j n into omega naught t plus here. Here we have the negative terms f minus n. That negative terms we have to replace in sigma terms. That is n equal to minus 1 to minus infinity. Then what happened? n becomes minus n becomes n. That is in place of minus n, we have to replace with plus n. That is e power j into n omega naught into t. That is the negative terms we have to replace in the uh, limits. That's why in a function the minus n becomes plus n. Then again we have to combine both limits here n equal to 0 to infinity first limit what second limit here minus 1 to minus infinity that is we have the negative limits as well as positive limits that's why we have to combine the equation into single limit n equal to minus infinity to the plus infinity that is totally we have negative values 0 and positive values then what function here fn we have the same functions here that is fn into e power j n omega naught into t. Okay, this is the, the function of exponential Fourier series. So before find out the function value, you must find out the exponential Fourier series coefficient that is fn fn is called exponential Fourier series coefficient. That is coefficient of exponential Fourier series. That's why you have to find out the equation of fn. Before going to the 
find out the Fourier series of the exponential. Then already we know from the above equation, what is the formula for Fn here? Fn equal to 1 by 2 of An minus J Bn. We know the formula. That is from this equation. Let us consider F0, Fn, F minus N. From the we have take Fn value. Then from the trigonometric Fourier series, we know the formulas for An and Bn. Then what is the formula for An? That is 2 by t integral 0 to t f of t cos n omega naught into dt. Okay, this is the an value minus what is the bn value here? Minus j into 2 by t integral 0 to t f of t sin n omega naught t into dt. Okay, this is the second term. That is, you have to multiply the four, both functions with 1 by 2, then what happened? The term 2 will be cancelled. That is, 2 here cancelled for both functions. Then, what is the common term here? That is, 1 by t integral 0 to t f of t is common. Then, what is the remaining term? Cos n omega naught into cos n omega naught t minus j sin n into omega naught into dt. Okay, that is from the exponential term here we have cos x plus minus j sin x. What is formula? e power minus jx. From that equation here, we have to change in terms of into exponential term. That is fn equal to 1 by t integral 0 to t f of t e power minus jx. In place of x, we have n omega naught into t into dt. Okay, this is the formula for the exponential coefficient fn. Then first find out fn value. That fn value we have to replace in the series. Then we have to find out the exponential Fourier series. Then after finding the Fourier series, we have to draw the two responses. That is called the frequency response. That is, we know frequency response should be find out by drawing the two responses. That is, the first one is magnitude response as well as phase angle response. That is, if you find out Fourier series in trigonometric or in uh, exponential, you have to find out the magnitude value and you have to find out the phase angle. Then, if you draw magnitude versus the term n, then you have to find out the magnitude response and you have to find out phase angle phi or theta then versus number of components can then you have to find out the phase angle response that is by both combining magnitude response and the phase angle response we are calling as the frequency response from the new exponential term then you have to find out the magnitude then draw the graph fn versus gen similarly you have to find out 
the phase angle of Fn. Then we have to draw the graph between phase angle versus n. Then both commonly we can call the frequency response of the given system. So by using trigonometric or exponential, then first of all we have to find out the magnitude of the function as well as phase angle of the function. Then draw the graph. Magnitude response as well as phase angle response. Then both combinedly we are calling as the, the frequency response of the given system. So in this way, we are find out the exponential Fourier series for the given any function, which is also very useful to find out the, the response of the or to analyze the behavior of the response whenever the non sinusoidal signal is applying to the electrical circuit either by using triangular or by using exponential. Please subscribe our channel and share to your friends.